the Diné traditional teaching of the solar eclipse. While millions around the world will flock to view the solar eclipse, many who live near its shadowy path will choose to avert their eyes. Yad e Ardene, traditional teachings about the solar eclipse. It tells us that the moon and the sun are renewing themselves. First man and first woman were the ones that created the sun and the moon. And they were placed on the east side of the world. But the people on the west side were cold and needed the warmth of the sun. So both the sun and the moon were energized to travel across the sky. The sun left first. And he told the moon that when I reached the rest west side, to follow me. And so that happened. So to this day, we have night and day. So as the moon and the sun travel across the sky, day after day, month after month, year after year, they grew tired and weary. The moon had covered the sun to renew the sun, but also the moon blocked the earth so they would protect the earth people from the renewal process of the sun. So during this time we're told that we do not look at the sun, we don't look at the eclipse. In Dene, the sun is called Johanna'e. The Dene people view the sun as the most powerful deity amongst all creation here on this earth and in the universe. Nothing in this world can function without the sun. The sun controls and regulates the universe. In the Ne, we call this Neyo Ash. The sun is also vested with the concept of and in control of death. Anonesh. The moon is called Tlehona A. To the Dene people, the moon controls and regulates the earth, Neyo Ash, and the moon is also vested with and controls all birthing. Birthing is called Ochish. To our Dene people, when a solar or lunar eclipse occurs, it is believed that a death occurs. What does it mean? when a death occurs between the sun and the moon. It means that this term, the death, is called Dazzan, either for a solar eclipse, Johanna'e Dazzan, or a lunar eclipse, Johanna'e Dazzan. To our Navajo Dene people, death is a very sacred occurrence. Therefore, Certain necessary protocols are observed when death occurs. During a solar or lunar eclipse, strict acts of reverence are required and must be carried out. To our Dene people, the eclipse represents death, but it also represents the rebirth and renewal afterwards. It is believed that when the sun and the moon come together in that form, the Dene people believe that the renewal and rebirth process is happening. After the passing of the eclipse, when the sun becomes full and bright again, it is believed that the birthing has just taken place. During this birthing and renewal process, the universe and all creation are reborn and there will be growth and development among anything in creation. Because of the sacredness of the birthing and renewal, there are strict and comprehensive acts of reverence that must be observed. We have ethics and principles, meaning we have rules to respect the eclipse. 
due to the very sacredness of the death and birth and the renewal process, it is very important to be reverent at this time. There's only one way to be reverent during an eclipse. There are no shortcuts that exist. Our forefathers were very reverent and respected this time. So they applied this principle and the ethics of reverence. One cannot simply just put ash or corn pollen upon themselves and believe they can exit their homes and carry on as if it is just another day. Again, so the following are examples of rules that must be carried out during an eclipse. Number one, we must stay inside, preferably in our home. We cannot eat or drink anything during this time. We cannot be asleep. We cannot brush, comb, or wash our hair. We cannot be intimate with our spouses. We cannot move around. We must remain calm and still. But most importantly, we cannot look outside. We cannot look at the sun while the eclipse is occurring. And this also applies to the shadow of the sun. So we cannot utilize a pinhole or other apparatuses. Why do our Dine people have rules about the eclipse and to respect that time? It is believed through our stories that if we look at the eclipse, we will develop eye problems and sunburns or rashes that we cannot understand how they develop. We can have digestive problems and have unexplained migraine headaches. Most importantly, if a woman is pregnant, prenatal problems may develop and when the child is born, the child will certainly develop digestive and skin problems. And the only way to remedy this is to have ceremonies to put the mother and the child back in harmony. When the eclipse ends, that is a sign of the birth and renewal. Therefore, as in blessing way and beauty way, we end our prayers by saying four times. At that time, we take out our corn pollen, our tradedine, and use it as an offering to acknowledge our prayer and to acknowledge the sacred phenomenon. The corn pollen will be the first meal, the food that we have taken after the eclipse, as the corn pollen will also be the first food eaten in this new period of life.